A couple years ago, my wife and I planted a small pecan grove. Fred, the man who sold us the trees, asked a great question. When is the best day to plant a tree? He waited a minute. Then he said, 20 years ago. What's the second best day, he asked. The answer, today. The best day for a believer to start sharing Jesus is the day you were saved. But the second best day is today. Trees can live to be hundreds of years old, but it takes years for them to grow to maturity. And if they could talk, I can only imagine what kinds of stories they would tell. The children climbing on them, farmers plowing nearby, the fierce winds in times of drought, that slow process of growing over the years. We can't know the stories of trees, but we all have our own story and message to tell. The God who made this great and glorious world made you and I in His image to worship Him. Augustine said it in a prayer, You have made us, O God, and our hearts are restless until they find rest in You. We live in a world of evil, poverty, sickness, murder, greed. This is why Jesus came, to save the world from its brokenness and sin. At another time, on another tree, He died for us. And then he rose again so we can have life in his name. And now you and I get to share that message with others. But the thought of that can freak us out, right? We feel insecure and ill-equipped. But what if I told you the very God who created and redeemed us has made each of us to tell others the good news of Jesus? What if I told you the personality that you have, your talents, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, all this has been given to you as a gift so you can talk about Jesus in everyday conversations the very way you were born to do it. Just like it takes time for trees to grow to maturity, I wanna take you on a journey to help you grow in your witness. I wanna help you connect the gospel story with your story and show you how to talk about that story in normal conversations with people you know. I want you to see how the person you are is just the person God wants to use for His gospel work. If you know Jesus and you're breathing, you're a missionary. You're a missionary every bit as much as a man or a woman who gives his life to an unreached people group. And I want to show you what being a missionary looks like for you in everyday life. God created you for His glory to advance His gospel with the gifts, talents, and opportunities He gave you at home, at school, in the workplace where he placed you. You live at this time in the history of the world for this purpose, a purpose that is bigger than you, sharing Jesus without freaking out.